Hi everyone, this is Liz from Creative Life of Liz and I'm here to share my September book, Bujo book reading journal setup. This is in my Park Lane journal I've been using all year. Um, before we get started, I am going to flip through uh, kind of where we're at for the year so far. Um, so I'm filming this on the 29th. So making good progress on my reading. I've had a really good reading month. You can tell uh, the day I was super busy with work related stuff and my work day was about 14 hours um, because I did not get much reading done. But the rest of the month has been really good for reading, keeping up with my goals. Um, that's been done for a while. I did read a book for the buzzword challenge. I don't know that I actually added to any of these, um, but hopefully I can get these last few finished up um, in the next couple of months. And then I did make some more progress on Romanceopoly, and I will show you that when we get to looking at the August pages. Um, so we can start out July statistics. Um, that was a re pretty reasonable month, 35 books, 9,900 pages. Um, Overall, pretty good, I think, uh, and good progress there. And then in August, I did finish four Romanceopoly prompts. I did read my one priority read. I didn't fill in anything else because, honestly, that's the only priority read I've been doing because Amazing Readathon takes over everything. Um, I did finish Magical Readathon uh, for Alchemist. It's like 13 or 14 prompts. I finished those. And then I have been reading a lot for the amazing readathon. So this was the first two pages um, that I went through. I ended up needing some more space. I did put in tiny versions of the flags for face off weekend. Um, and then these are the books that I've been reading. I don't know my exact number for the month, but I think I'm gonna be somewhere around 40 books um, or so for the month. So definitely quite busy. And then I had page of what I've been reading here. And then this is the continuation of Amazing Readathon. You can see I'm still working on my Sydney book, um, but I'm reading a long one, like 900 and some pages. So should be worth a lot of points once I get there, um, but I will finish filling this in for whatever else I read in the next two and a half days. And then this bit that I've been reading, this page to figure out what I'm reading over the next couple of days. And then I left two page pages for statistics. Um, and then for September, um, I decided since we're going to Hawaii to do this uh, kind of hibiscus theme, I did find an online tutorial and I actually just looked at their picture and used it to kind of help me draw the hibiscus. And then I uh, added some leaves and stuff around it as well and then wrote September 2023. I don't love how I wrote it, but it's good enough. Um, so for this month, I used one of these I Buy and Fine Liners. It's in this kind of goldy color. That's going to be my main color for writing in things during the month. And then I used four um, Tombow as well. So this kind of bluey green, which is number 346. This bright yellow, which is number 055. This brighter green, which is number 245. And then this pink that turned out very hot pink, which is number 743. Um, so that's pretty much what I used. I did also use a Mean Cho fine liner. I used the one millimeter size, the like wider size for doing all the lines and stuff here. I have not filled in my Romanceopoly prompts. I'm going to try to probably do four this month as well and hopefully get that covered. My priorities, I think I have one arc, maybe two, not really sure. Um, I'm going to try to do the Adventures in Aldea challenge for Magical Readathon, uh, read a Agatha Christie, whatever comes up next in order. So a few things going on priority here. It is going to be a busy travel month, so that's kind of the tricky part um, of getting all of this stuff done. Um, and then I'm participating in one readathon. It's Pick Pongathon. I'll put the announcement video down below. Um, but I ended up starting with five rolls and I did a random number generator style. I did get one that ends in a zero or a five. So I did have to add one more. So that's six rolls total. I filled in here what my tentative reading is going to be. 
uh, for the month. So this is, I guess, my TBR. We'll see how many of these I actually end up following. Um, probably the most solid ones are these two since they're kind of just picked ones, but we'll see. Um, I am going to, you know, get some reading done and that's the important part. But that's the only read I thought I'm going to participate in this month because I do want to make sure that I have time for everything, even when I'm traveling, where I'm going to read barely anything for a week or more. Uh, so that's all I really have for today. Um, pretty simple setup as is normal, and I'll use the rest of the pages just to write in what I've been reading. Uh, so as always, please like and subscribe below if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. It helps me out. Uh, let me know down below what books you're excited for in September or if you have any suggestions for things that I should be reading. If you don't have anything you want to leave books wise, leave me some sort of flower emoji just to say hi. I would love to say hi back. Um, and then follow me on Instagram at Creative Life of Liz. You can see in progress and finished spreads in this planner, my other planner, bits and pieces of my life, what I'm reading, all that good stuff. And until next time, bye.